PorcupineRealEstate.com. So that's a biplane. I'm not sure if you can tell very easily. It was closer earlier and looked a lot better. This is what, look, what it looked like after I ran out and got my camera. You never know what you'll see in Winchester or above Winchester. I, I saw a uh, paraglider once in this spot. I believe it is May 18th, possibly May 17th. And this disturbing order has appeared on a Rite Aid in Keene. <laughs> it's, it's 2020, by the way. My understanding was that the governor was not issuing orders, to, you know, mandating uh, that you had to wear masks uh, in inside stores of any kind. Maybe I've missed something. Now, additionally, this Rite Aid their uh, their drive-up window, no one answered when I called twice. And uh, also, the other concern is that when I asked to have a prescription transferred from the Hinsdale Walmart, they said, well, you need to give us the Hinsdale Walmart phone number. And I said, well, you, you can look that up, right? Because my phone's not working right now. And they said, no, we can't do that. <laughs> we don't have internet. I had to walk to the nearest Walmart to get that number and then walk back only to find that it would take two hours. The uh, pharmaceutical associate, I think, who I was talking to had a nice demeanor and everything. It wasn't like she was being rude to me. Certainly, I appreciate them being open during this time. And uh, I tend to be still pretty much pro-mask. I'm not sure I'm right about this, but uh, the, 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 the thing is, we don't know for sure, right? I mean, who are they to say for certain that we're doing the right thing by wearing a mask? Even though I do, uh, I'm not sure it should be forced on people this way. We could discover later that the minority view is correct and masks actually do more harm than good. Certainly, I've noticed that if I'm wearing this one uh, for long enough while walking around and shopping, I start to get dizzy. So uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't wear this indefinitely inside a store, probably. Even in, uh, even in spring, imagine what this is going to be like in the summertime when, you, when you're raising your body temperature by putting these things on. Uh, imagine the hell this must be for people who have a lot of prescriptions they need filled uh, or what it's going to be like when these stores aren't really functioning for some period of time uh, if, if that happens over the next few years and it wouldn't surprise me to see it happen. Anyway, in the Rite Aid case, uh, that store, uh, the, the associate there or whoever it was told me that um, at the pharmacy told me that that was like an order from corporate that came down to put up that sign, which means cor corporate. That's a that's an that, that's probably outside New Hampshire. So at this at this point, I bet it would not be very difficult to say that you have a medical condition that uh, interferes with you wearing a mask, and probably it wouldn't be that big a deal. They'd probably let it go. In the future, I worry that they're going to demand some kind of. Uh, you know, hospital visit or, or, you know, doctor visit or doctor note to that effect, which of course could be forcing you into additional expenditures at your doctor at a time, of course, when you don't have any money. I was thinking about maybe setting up like a piece of paper I have that's like a a document that I ask people to sign if they want to make me wear a, a mask 
uh, something to the effect of, uh, well, I, I, the undersigned, accept full personal liability for anything bad that might happen to Dave Ridley as a result of me forcing him to wear a mask. <clears throat> and something certainly could, because like I say, I get, uh, I get dizzy after a while wearing some of these, some of the thicker ones. Who transacted the Live Free or Die State's first home sale for Bitcoin? Well, it was this guy, Mark Borden at PorcupineRealEstate.com. He and his experienced team of professional, responsible activists want to get you in the perfect New Hampshire home. Escape that authoritarian spit pit where you're living now. Visit PorcupineRealEstate.com.